Hello good day viewers, here is question number 11 of NACO 2024 Mathematics Examination Theory Questions, which is under Geometrical Constructions. Question number 11a reads, Construct a quadrilateral ABCD such that line AB is 6cm, line DB is 7.5cm, angle DAB is 60 degrees, line DC is 7cm, and lastly, line ad and bc are parallel to each other then the b part construct a circumcycle to touch the points a b c a circumcycle is a cycle that touches what the vertices of a figure then lastly here we ask to calculate the circumference of the cycle correct to the nearest whole number all right let's get started the first thing you need to do before you start construction is the rough work they say it is a quadrilateral, but you should notice this thing. These two lines are parallel. So if we have something like this, something like this, this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. They say that line AB is 6CM, so you should label this as 6CM. They say that line DB is 7.5. Why is DB? It's a diagonal line. 7.5 cm. They say that angle DAB is 60 degrees. DAB. So we are talking about this angle A. This is 60 degrees. They said that line DC is 7 cm. Line DC is 7 cm. And what else? They said that these two lines are parallel. So if they are parallel, if these two lines are parallel, you should mark them like this to indicate that they are parallel. No matter where they get to, they will never meet. And if they are parallel, this angle, this exterior angle must be 60 degrees as well because it must be equivalent to this one. We call them corresponding angles. All right, we are done with the A part. Then the B part, we ask to construct a cycle such that the cycle touches what? A, B, and C. Where are A, B, and C? You can see them here, these three vertices. To do that, you can simply bisect this line perpendicularly that is line a b and do the same thing for b c you bisect this line you divide it into two equal parts then you notice the point of intersection between the two lines this is l1 and this is l2 then you should place the pointer of your compass on that point of intersection then extend the radius to either b a or c something like this then you draw a cycle. It must touch A, B, and C, definitely. We are done with this part. Then you move to the last part, which is uh, calculate the circumference of the cycle. So you have to measure the radius of the cycle. From uh, the center, let me call it O, to C, O, B, O, A is equal to the radius. Then you measure it. Then you calculate the circumference. is given as what? 2 pi R. And you're good to go. So let's get started. Bring out your ruler. This is my ruler. Major 6 cm. This is 6 cm, but you can extend it to the side a little bit because we are going to construct another angle here. Remember, so take out the ruler and level this as A, B. Next, we are going to construct angle 60 here. So bring out the compass. This is my compass. Place it on A. That is the pointer should be on A. Then extend the radius a little bit and construct an arc to cut line AB and extend it to the top a little bit. Something like this. Then take the pointer to the other side where the arc cut line AB. Then bisect that previous arc. Something like this. Use your ruler, connect point A and this point of intersection between the two arcs. So you should know that this particular angle is 60 degrees. If you like, you can write it. So let's write it. I remember that line AB is 6 cm. So 
So let me label it as well. This is 6C. Next, we are going to construct angle 60 here externally so that the line will be parallel to this one. So let's do that. Bring the compass again. Place it on B. Then cut this particular line. Then extend it to the top a little bit. Then take the pointer to the other side where the line, where the arc cuts the line. Then bisect the previous arc. Something like this. Then connect this point and this point together. All right, something like this. Now you should know that these two lines are now parallel because this is 60 degrees as well. Next, they said that from B down to D is 7.5 cm. So we are going to use our compass a major 7.5 cm on the ruler. So this is our ruler. Bring the compass. Place the end at origin that is 0. The major 7.5 cm. So this is roughly 7.5 cm. Then place the pointer on B and cut this line. Something like this. Then use your ruler, connect this point and B together. Something like this. So this line is now 7.5 cm. You can write it. This is d call it d then bring the ruler again a major 7 cm because from d to c is 7 cm so where is my ruler this is my ruler again where is my compass this is the compass bring it to the point o the major 7 cm so this is 7 cm place it on d and cut this particular line so now connect the two points together. So from this point to this point is 7 cm. I should know that this is our C. Then we are done with the A part. Then the B part, they say that we should construct a cycle such that the cycle will touch A, B, and C. And how can we do that? To do that, you have to construct two lines which are perpendicular by sectors of A, B, and BC. So let's start with AB. We are going to bisect this line perpendicularly and divide it into two equal parts. So let me bring my ruler. I would like to utilize this arc because I don't want to have much arcs. Something like this. Draw an arc to the bottom. Then take it to the other side of B. Then cut the previous arc. This one I let it cut to the other side. All right, something like this. Then you can see that we have two points of intersection, one here and the other one here. Draw a straight line to cut it through. Something like this. Then do the same thing on this line. Bring the compass, place it on B, then extend the radius. Make sure that the radius is more than half of the line. You see, at least it is more than half of the line like this. Then draw an arc to both sides of line BC, one here, and construct the other one to the other end, and one here. Then take the pointer to point C, then cut the previous arcs. You see this one, then this other one. Then connect the two points of intersections. So we can call this one l1 and call the other one l2 then just observe the point of intersection between the two lines this is that place the pointer of your arc on that point of intersection between the two lines then extend the radius to either a b or c then construct your cycle Can you see that the cycle touches A, B, and C all together? This means that our construction is almost accurate. So you are done with the B part. Then the C part, we actually calculate the circumference of this cycle. To do that, you need to measure the radius of this cycle. 
you should know that a radius is the distance from the center of the circle to any part of the circumference. So I think we can do something like this. This is a radius. Uh, let us measure it. Remember, I have my previous compass, which I have used. I can simply place it on my ruler to measure the length. You can see that it is approximately 8.1 cm. This is 8.1 cm. So you should know that this is 11 a and b. Then the c part, we ask to calculate the circumference c which is equal to 2 pi r. In Nigeria, we commonly use 22 divided by 7 whenever the pi is not given from the question. So this is equal to 2 multiplied by 22 divided by 7. Multiply by the radius. Remember the radius is 8.1 cm. So this is 8.1 cm. We have 2 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 8.1. This is 356.4. Then we divide the result by 7. This is 50.91, but they said that to the nearest whole number, so this is going to be 51 cm. And this is all about question number 11. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.